properly and I can hear myself. I've just unplugged the electric motor. You can see that the capacitor bank is charged and it's up to about 26 and a half, say 27 volts. I don't want to push it any further than that with all the uh, Christmas tree lights on. They're the balancing lights. I have had to swap out the um, power inverter that I had. And I've, I've got, got two of these cheap power inverters from Powerjack. Now, if you can afford more expensive ones, go for them because the one that I originally had hooked up here earlier in the video um, has got issues. And so I swapped it with the other one, it's exactly the same. Another thing, how that's got a sticker on the top that says what it is. The quality assurance in their factory must be pretty slack because they've stuck the actual sticker that's supposed to be on the top. This is the top as you can see. The power points are on the right side and everything. Exactly the same as that one, except the sticker's on the bottom of this particular unit. Now, as you can see, there are no other plugs. This is the plug. Now we're going to plug that straight into this inverter. Alright, that's that. We've still got all that there. You can see the power lines going to the back of this one here. I haven't got it earthed out. I've just got it loose. <coughs> but as you can see, it's just one system now. We've still got our Um, multimeter showing 26.4 volts. Now I will just switch it on and we'll see a bank of Maxwell capacitors powering a big assed inverter, powering the electric motor, powering the PM thermomagnet alternator to a couple of rectifiers. And those rectifiers changing the AC to DC power and the DC power going in, DC power out, DC coming in, AC going out, AC turning AC, AC to DC and around the circle goes. But unfortunately it won't keep the power up to the capacitors. So what I was hoping that uh, in that particular circuit that it would uh, uh, use only what it needed and keep a balanced capacitor sort of thing as it fed in and extracted the power there would be a balancing situation where it wouldn't lose any power in the capacitors in this particular capacitor bank whereas I've still got the second uh, rectifier there with another 24 volts of power to feed to another capacitor bank that I would have with the other inverter now here we go, so without further ado, switching on, you can hear it pulling power. <laughs> doesn't feed enough power in, you can turn that off. The alarm goes off when it reaches its low voltage. I was hoping that it wouldn't get to that. It's got a low voltage rating of 20 volts. So as soon as it gets down to 20 volts, the alarm shuts it down for safety reasons. Now there's still 24, 22 
6.4 volts of power left in these capacitors. What I've been doing with that extra power in them is I've been siphoning, to say wasting the power in those capacitors or just discharging them, I'll discharge them. I've got a, a grid tie inverter over here that you can buy and it'll uh, handle up to 28 volts of DC input and send a thousand watts of AC back into the grid. So the power that I sucked out to power this sucker up, I'm feeding back into the grid to hopefully cancel out my electricity bill. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at my attempt at building what some people call a QMO gen. Um, I was calling it a kinetic generator because you have to put energy in of it, into it to get out of it. I fixed up this little bolt on the end of the motor. I was originally going to use a cordless impact wrench, uh, 24 volt one, to spin it up. But after working out how long it took just on mains electricity to get it to actually fill the capacitor bank, my uh, cordless drill would have been drained very quickly and it wouldn't have worked. But just to let you know, the capacitors can run inverters. This particular battery inverter, power inverter is a 24 volt. As you can see, 24 volt. Using just six of these capacitors, I've seen other YouTube videos um, where people have run smaller two um, uh, 12 volt uh, power inverters. Uh, which gave me the idea to try this because I couldn't get it to work using just regular, well, batteries in a 24 volt configuration. So I figured uh, that uh, the capacitors might be able to charge and discharge super quickly and work the system out. Anyway, I'll leave it to better minds than mine to sort it out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I might have another um, video coming up within another year for thinking about playing with uh, my old wheelie bin that I had before that I did my micro hydro electric wheelie bin uh, experiment with a couple of years ago and using a couple of or a six pack of uh, 3000 farad capacitors a vertical axis wind turbine and a couple of solar panels to charge the capacitors and then use that grid tie inverter that I've got over there and set it upside outside the house and pump some power back into the into the grid to reduce our energy bill anyway this is Rob hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope somebody can continue on and make this thing work.